Hey guys, welcome back. The next plugin we are looking at is chat with git. So this can search the code on GitHub repositories based on a query. What type of queries are supported here? So let's look at it here. So you can define your search query as the main parameter you need to provide. It should be a string that describes what you are looking for. So it could be uh, if you are looking for a Python code related to web scraping, your query might be web scraping language python or you can call the query git function and once you have your search query you can call the query git function in the chat with the namespace so basically user can say find me some python code so once i've enabled this plugin let's see our first query so the first query is let's assume that uh, I wanted to search housing prices estimator in Python in GitHub. So this should basically use scikit-learn library to do it. And this is a common problem in um, any scikit-learn wherein uh, so you provide a size of an apartment in a city, you train it on a data set. It's more of uh, it will predict the prices for you. So if you have gone through some basics in scikit, this is a very common problem. Uh, many courses do cover. So I've just asked it to see if it can give me a solution for this. So as you can see, it's generating that data. Okay, so it gave us that data perfect. So one is uh, Boston housing prices by Keras. And this is written by Srinivas Bhatti Prolu. The project uses this. There is also one by Murphy Van. The project uses Boston housing data set. And similarly, California, uh, the project uses California housing data set. There are many more. So there is one by Google research. And okay, so it's also providing us the GitHub research. So if you want to confirm it's valid, cool. So it gave you the code here. And let me ask some similar queries here. So let me say, uh, let's assume that you are doing some marketing campaign and you want people's email and some specific data and uh, you don't know anything about databases. So let's assume you are trying to get it in a Google sheet. So I'm asking that collect the user metrics with uh, in a Python code uh, and uh, store the data in Google Sheets. And this should work with Google login because you would like to know what the, the user's email ID they're sharing is valid. So that's why I asked it to do it. Let's see if it's able to do this. So the idea here is uh, you can go search GitHub directly. But if you are getting some snippet from ChatGPT and you want to refine it further based on what applications people have used, get that input and feed it as input to chat gpt you can still do that with this plugin so it's a very useful plugin if you do code and if you don't know to code it is still useful because it helps you validate whatever code you were able to generate with chat gpt that it's professionally good or not so cool so it gave us some code here on google sheets and there are many more here so yeah so if you know how to tweak it, it's going to be pretty easy or you can do a GitHub search directly or you can with this plugin, you don't have to get out of chat GPT. So within chat GPT, you will get all the data back to you. I hope this helps. Thank you for joining.